you guys can have free reign on roasting me on my makeup or my hair. <laughs> All that I learned from watching a bunch of James Charles videos is that I suck at makeup. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great week, I hope you're doing amazing, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be talking about how to survive high school as a hard of hearing individual. The reason why I wanted to make this video today is because when I was in high school, I know that it was when I most struggled with feeling scared of being judged and feeling scared of being bullied or anxious and I was always in denial about my hearing loss. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. I was just overall very insecure and I always felt like it was very hard to get through, it was a real struggle for me. So I wanted to give some tips and advice on how to really put yourself in a good mindset and really make the most out of high school because that's a very important time to learn and grow and discover who you are. If you have hearing loss like me or a different disability, then it can be a real struggle at times. I completely understand the feeling of being judged or being scared that you're going to be bullied or judged by your disability so yeah that's what I wanted to do today so before I get started I just want to let you guys know that for the purposes of this video I'm going to be referring to a lot of things as hearing loss and hard of hearing however that doesn't mean that these tips and advice can apply to anyone whether you have a different disability or you're just here to find out some general tips and advice it can definitely apply to everyone so it's not just limited if you are hard of hearing. So with that said, let's get started right away. The first thing I want to talk about is being honest with yourself. So what does that mean? It means I want you to take a moment and you can even pause this video if you want. I want you to be honest with yourself about what hearing loss means to you. What that entails is what it does to you how it affects your life, what accommodations do you need to be successful, what are your strengths and limitations, what do you need to tell your friends and family for them to understand better what you're going through, and really take a moment and be completely honest with yourself about what it really means to you and accept that as part of your life. So how can you expect other people to accept your disability or your hearing loss if you can't accept that yourself. So the very first step I feel like is important is to accept that you have this disability and really come to terms with it and know that it is something you're gonna have to deal with. So I'll give you a second and just really sit down and think about all the things I just asked you and just accept that as a part of you. I'll wait right here. A few moments later. All right, are you good? All right, let's move on to the next part. What I really wanted to tackle in today's video is how to get over the anxiety and stress of being judged or being bullied and how to get over that fear. Your body has a very natural response called a fight or flight response and it is mostly triggered when you are in anxiety or your body feels like it is in danger so it is preparing you to face whatever danger you are going through. And what happens is your body releases a type of hormone called norepinephrine or epinephrine and you might know it as adrenaline or noradrenaline. It could go all over your body and stimulate these receptors so that when they are stimulated they can help you really prepare for whatever you are going through or you can either run away from your problem or face it head on. And under acute stress, so meaning very short term things like if you're taking a test or having to give a speech, that is a very good response because it prepares you for that. If you are constantly stressing over 
who is judging you or who is going to bully you potentially, then you are constantly stimulating this response and that can lead to very negative effects. And remember I said the receptors are all over your body, so it can do things such as suppress your immune system, suppress your GI system so that your eating habits change and you can experience weight gain or weight loss. It can really impact your brain so you can have trouble sleeping and it can really put you at risk for anxiety or depression. So over time that can be a very bad thing. And what I want you guys to focus on today is getting out of that zone. Stop stimulating that and really trying to decrease your anxiety and fear of being judged. My goal today is really to help you develop a good mindset to really reduce that stress and anxiety and that fear of being judged. So the very first thing I want you guys to think about is who are you trying to have accept you? So who are you afraid of judging you? Who is it that you are afraid of? Is it a teacher? Is it a friend? Is it a certain group in a school? Or is it just strangers in general? And the next thing I want you to think about is what are you going to gain if these people accept you? So just to give an example, when I was in high school, I was really scared of being judged by mostly everyone, like my friends, the popular crowd, especially the popular crowd. So? So that's against the rules and you can't sit with us. And I really took a moment to think about that. So what would I gain from being accepted by my friend? And that is trust. So if I told my friend this and they're going to accept that part of me, then that means we developed a level of trust and that could be really good for our friendship. However, what if I'm trying to make the popular crowd accept me and I wasn't popular at all? <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> Even though I was always scared of being judged by the popular crowd, what am I going to gain from having them accept me? What am I going to gain from them taking me in as part of their group? So maybe I could get invited to more parties? However, if I go to those parties, am I really going to get along with their friend group when I didn't naturally already gravitate towards them? Like, is this not really going to benefit me in any way? Are they going to help me get into college? No. Are they going to help me be an, a better overall student? And the answer to those questions was all no. So what am I really gaining from trying to impress these people? And it was nothing, nothing in the long run that would really benefit me. Okay, now how did your life change? Did you, did you get the guy? Did you get the job? Is your house any bigger? Did, did money just magically, you know, get put in your pocket? What positive happened in your life after you just tore that woman down? So that is one thing that really helped me reduce that level of stress of trying to be judged by them. Another thought I want you to have is let's put yourself in the perspective of someone else for a second. So let's say you didn't have hearing loss and think about a student in your school who is going through a rough time. For example, just an example, let's say this person has depression and they have a very rough home life and they are going through depression. They have to take medications maybe to help them with that. However, they're still struggling in school. Like just think about, would you in your right mind judge them for that? Like would you think of them as a lesser person and bully them for that? I feel like in my mind, no, like most people would not think it would be appropriate to judge someone or bully someone based on those facts. And if you are one of those people who said yes, I would probably reevaluate how your actions affect others. What makes y'all be so negative? What is the problem? Please let me know. DM me why you so negative. I will try to help you. We can talk about this. Why are y'all so negative? But I feel like most people wouldn't think that that was appropriate. So if you yourself wouldn't bully this person, then why would you think other people would bully you for having a disability? So just think about how most people probably have a life and struggles of their own to get through. So they don't have time to really judge you and bully you based on your own disability. So most of it is probably in your head. It's in your and your head is what is holding you back. So really think about that and really try to put yourself in the perspective of someone else. Okay, I'm going 
to slide into a different topic, which is think about how you can use hearing loss or your disadvantage to your advantage. What I mean by that is think about what kind of accommodations you're going to need and how you can obtain those. So for example, when I was in high school, I knew that I was very bad at hearing, so I couldn't hear sometimes when the teacher told me to turn in an assignment. What I did was every time beginning of semester, I would tell my teacher that I had hearing loss. And how they would help me is that they would place me at the very front of the classroom and have me there the whole semester. Even if they were randomizing other people's seats, they would always keep me in that one spot or let me choose my own seat so that I could be in the front of the classroom and be able to hear better. Another thing they would do is write the assignment on the class board so that I would have a visual cue to know when a deadline is and that way I wouldn't miss it. So what I'm talking about is thinking about what your accommodations are and what you need to do to obtain those. If you have hearing loss, then that is something you need as an accommodation to help you be successful. So if those things can be offered to you, why not take it? And I just want to make it clear, I'm not saying taking advantage of your disability like taking advantage of other people. I'm not saying ask someone to do your homework assignment for you or ask for unreasonable requests like ask your teacher for a grade change. I'm saying think about your accommodations and really try to take advantage of what you can be offered and really try to get those accommodations for yourself because they can really help you in the long run. My next thing is latching onto those people who are really important to you already. Think about a friend, a family member, a cousin, a boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever, who you are completely comfortable talking about your disabilities to, and not just your disability, but anything, who you can tell about everything in your life and are not afraid of being judged or anything like that, that you're completely comfortable with. And those are the people you want to focus on. So when I was in high school, I had a really good friend who I would go over to her house all the time and we would hang out. And whenever I hung out with her, my hearing loss wasn't even in my mind. Like it was in the back of my mind and she would never treat me any differently other than if she was trying to help me on something if I didn't hear. Focusing on those friends who make me feel confident, who make me feel good, who make me feel like just a regular human being who has a friend are the kind of people that you want to hang out with. So focus on that and it can decrease your anxiety about being judged because you're focusing so much time on the people who do make you feel good and who do make you feel confident that you're not focusing your time and energy on the people who are not. Just to clarify one more time, I'm not saying that you can't make new friends or you can't make new relationships. I'm saying put your time and energy in people who will accept you for your disability and don't waste it on people who are never going to accept it. So don't try to gain the approval of people who are going to judge you or bully you or anything like that. My last tip for you is to really focus on what your dreams are, what your goals are in high school, and it doesn't even have to be long term. Think about things in short term too. What do you want to get done today? What do you want to get done tomorrow, this semester, blah blah blah. So I just give an example. When I was in high school, I was taking four or five AP classes. I was taking college level classes because I really wanted to get into my number one university choice. I was on the varsity swim team, so I had to do that. I was on a club swim team. I also had to go home every day and practice piano because are you even Asian if your parents don't make you play a musical instrument when you're younger? And so I had all these different things going on in my life where I just didn't have enough time and energy to focus on the people who are going to be judging me or not accepting me because of my hearing loss. So that was one thing I really focused on is what my actual goals are and what I can accomplish and what I'm good at. So focusing all my energy on what's important and focusing all the energy on me, myself, it really took away from having to focus on other people that don't really matter. 
my goal of making this video again was just to help you get through high school if you have a disability or if you have hearing loss and really think about what it means to have a good mindset and what you should think about and focus on to make the most out of your high school because it is a very very important time. I just want to make it clear that I don't expect you to watch this video and overnight completely change who you are and be confident and be the best you cannot be to be. It takes a long time to develop that mental state. Even now I still struggle sometimes so it's not like I always feel confident about myself but I think that having these thoughts and having these things to run back to really help you develop a better mindset, a healthier mindset, and can really help you get through these hard times when you feel like you are going to be judged or not accepted by a group. So thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I was actually thinking about doing a how to survive college video too. I was actually going to group them together, high school and college, but I thought that high school was a bigger topic to tackle and I wanted to do college for another time. So let me know if you want me to do a video based on that. I would be happy to. Or if you want me to do something else, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a like. That would be really sweet of you. So yeah, thank you so much.